Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would just like to thank my viewers and everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I would also like to thank all of those who have purchased a reading with me and to all of those who have commented on my videos. Thank you so much. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it does not, simply check your moon and your rising sign for your messages. It's not always going to resonate with you. How can it? There's so many of you out there in so many different situations. So there may be months where it may not resonate with you at all. In that case, there are plenty of good readers on YouTube. So check someone else out and check back in another time. So now this is going to be for the sign of Taurus for the month of June going forward or from the time you view this video going forward and these energies can play out to as much as six months. So what we have here is the overall energy, the seven of wands and this is you uh, being on the defensive. Um, Standing your ground with regards to something. Now, this could be at work, or this could be um, within a relationship or a home environment. What I have under that is I have this Seven of Swords, and this could be uh, somebody sneaking away with something. Uh, this could be things going on behind the scenes. Um, there's deception around this card. Um, somebody being sneaky. And then we have the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, uh, the Eight of Rods and the Ten of Cups. So. For me, if I go by the cards I'm holding here, this is around the home and family where you're feeling defensive. Um, some sort of commitment, and I believe that there's a delay around taking a decision about this. Um, because you're obviously thinking of leaving. I have with the Seven of Swords and the um, the Eight of Cups. And you want to go in search of the Ten of Cups. So obviously the relationship is not balanced because you have five cups on bottom and three on top. And this is what you're thinking of leaving. You would like to express your emotions. Uh, with regards to this, you could simply be uh, with that Queen of Cups uh, following your intuition, your gut feelings with regards to this relationship here. Obviously, something is going on uh, that caused this uh, emotional unbalance within this relationship and that has you on the defensive. At the bottom of the mini Rider Waite deck, we have this Three of Wands, uh, which can indicate, if we're talking about a relationship, you feeling like there are things going on behind your back. Typically, though, this card um, would speak to someone who sent their ships out to sea, and now they're waiting. They're waiting to see if they'll come back full or empty. Um, this could be somebody who's saying, okay, well, there's, I've done all I can. There's nothing else that I can do at this time. So now I'm going to wait and see uh, what the results of my efforts have been or, or will bring. And um, this is with regards to some sort of uh, new beginning here. Coins generally represent the material, tangible world, so this could represent a relationship, but this can also represent uh, finances, um, home, property, um, work. 
Uh, this could be somebody who uh, is trying to start something up or who is looking for work. Um, if you are, uh, know that you will uh, have some success with this. All right, so at the center of this reading, we have the five of coins. And the five of coins is a feeling of lack. So um, generally it relates to uh, coins, which would be uh, finances. But, it, you know, it can, again, it's the material tangible world and it can represent relationships. So you could have been feeling a lack within that relationship. Either there you financially fell on hard times and this has come between the couple or um, this is a also a card of a third party uh, but I don't have any other cards that would indicate that so um, likely it is something else finances or some sort of lack uh, that has come between you and so here you sit and you're trying to understand why this is happening. You've received some sort of news that has upset your, uh, your home and your family. That has caused this feeling of lack. This could have came by message. Uh, this could have been, if we're talking about work, this could have been your boss, but um, I'm seeing it as you in this reading because it is an earth sign. Whatever this message is, it has upset you emotionally, it has made you feel uh, this lack, feeling left out in the cold, and you are thinking about all of this uh, with the hermit. Um, and we see this message down here. You see, it sits down here. We see the message, and we see the knight who brought it in, okay? Here. And then we see that you are, look, I just want to show this to you. So here we have the, the message, okay? This can also indicate this card. You might feel that someone's playing with your emotions, okay? But typically, this is an, a message that would touch you on an emotional level. And this is the knight who brings it in. And this is how it made you feel. You see that? He's holding on to this last lesson, which has been uh, pretty painful for him. And he is like, I want you to see this card. He's looking around suspiciously. He's on his guard. Okay? This fellow has been hurt. He's not trusting. Whatever this message is, he's really, really on his guard, and he's not trusting this person here. Now, this knight here can also represent reconciliation. This could be someone from your past. Possibly a water sign, but it doesn't have to be. Okay? So, and here, so he's got, this message has you feeling like this. And you can see it here. Whatever it is, it upsets you. It has you feeling this feeling of lack, this feeling of suspicion, being on your guard. The need to take a decision here with the chariot for me in this reading, uh, in the position that it's in, is going to be a decision. And again, a card of assessment on top of that. So you are assessing things here. And for me, this is, I think, an imbalance in your emotions. And um, because of this message, it's caused an upset in your emotions. You're not feeling balanced, is what I'm trying to say. And you're looking at everything. Trying to decide what to do. Now, over here, we see again uh, 
how this message has made you feel and you can see how dramatic this card is here this is the nine of swords this is somebody uh who's having sleepless nights and they're very worried they've got a lot of doubts they've got a lot of doing a lot of a lot of thinking overthinking negative thinking on that card we see that you don't have all your answers yet okay we have the uh the high priestess here and this speaks to secrets being revealed. And you know what? Perhaps that's what the message was. Because when she appears, generally, any secrets that have been kept hidden from you get revealed. So very possibly that is what that message was. And that is what upset you. And I feel that from these other cards, Three of Coins, and then we got the Wish card and the judgment okay but this is on this nine of swords energy okay i think that you would like a second chance with this person but you don't trust this person this person has hurt you this person has kept secrets has hidden things from you and although you do feel very passionate about this person you're just not sure and i feel that you will make uh well you know you have to take a decision you will make a uh judgment call on this relationship um up here what crowns this reading is the fool the fool he's like turned his back on all of this here and he's heading out into the unknown thinking of taking a, a, a new path he has weighed things up this is the fool he's weighed things up he's decided He's walking away, and he's moving forward. So this is what you're thinking of. You're, you are thinking of moving forward, um, stepping onto a new path, walking away from this that um, no longer emotionally serves you, uh or from this person that you can't trust because here you see i have the king of cups okay the fact that i have the king and the queen uh, tells me that this could very possibly be a couple but this king of cups he um he plays his cards close to his chest and he is emotionally closed off okay <clears throat> He's sitting with this Ten of Swords. So it's this person who has betrayed you. Now, again, now on that I have the Emperor. This is a double message of somebody who is closed off emotionally. They play their cards close to their chest. This one here is about building empires. He doesn't have time for emotions. And this one here can be very secretive and deceptive. And, you know, I've, I've been seeing that type of a person in these cards. And this person has caused you a lot of sleepless nights. This is twice I have this card, one on either side of this five of coins here. So a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of worry. And again... The fool. And so you're thinking of stepping out onto a new path of leaving this behind because I have on that the Six of Cups and the fool is walking away from the past. And so I think that's what you are thinking of doing, walking away from the past, walking away from 
this offer of reconciliation because you're not trusting that person at all. Okay. Now, if you have a question, I'm going to uh, shuffle my Angel Answers deck and uh, try and get an answer for you. So if you would think about your question now while I'm shuffling. Take this one here. Ask for help from others. And I'll I will read you the full definition for that card. Just a sec. Let me find it. Here we go. It's not necessary to do everything on your own. Your angels are asking you to reach out to those around you for assistance. By allowing others to lend a hand, you greatly increase your chances for success and your plans will begin to move forward. The help you receive may also include important information provided by knowledgeable individuals. The stress of doing too much can create both physical and emotional health challenges for you. Surround yourself with loving friends and family who are willing and able to lighten your load, and you'll begin to feel much better. So, I hope that that has helped. Um, I wish you all the best with this, tor uh, Taurus. And... Um, I apologize for my bird who is screeching in the background. <laughs> he uh, he gets lonely. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to book a reading, the details on how to do so are in the description box below. Many blessings to you. Bye for now.